to your tree house, Peppa. Can we come in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we can have a tea party. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Hey. Hello, Peppa. Well, can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This treehouse is for girls only. <laughs> What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the treehouse. It isn't fair. Ho, oh, ho, I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice, quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> A castle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <laughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, Peppa, George. Look what I've made for you. A tree house. A tree house? For George and me? <laughs> <laughs> and the little curtains are for your tree house. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love their tree house. Thank you, Granny Pig. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go inside first? Me, me. In you go, then. Before I go in my tree house, I must take off my muddy boots. I'm in my tree house. I'm in my tree house. <laughs> George, would you like to go in the tree house too? Yes. Who is it? A young pig named George would like to pay a visit. Can he come in? As long as he takes off his muddy boots. George, take your boots off, then you can visit Pepper in the treehouse. <laughs> Who is it? George? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Who is it? It's Mummy Pig. Have you room for any more visitors? Hmm. You have to say the secret words. Then you can come into our house. <laughs> I see. And what are the secret words? I have to whisper them to you. The secret words are... 
Daddy's big tummy. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, before you come in our house, you must take off your boots. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's room for Daddy, too. Say the secret words, Daddy. Can I have different secret words, please? No. <laughs> oh, all right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> That's right. You can come in now, Daddy. Take your boots off. Uh, uh, I don't think I can fit through the door. <laughs> That's because your tummy's too big. <laughs> I know. Daddy Pig can climb in through the top. Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are all in the treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, I love our treehouse. I don't want to ever come out. That's nice, Peppa. But are you sure you don't want to visit me in my house? No, thank you, Granny. In that case, Grandpa Pig and I will just have to eat my homemade cookies all by ourselves. Cookies! <laughs> you are chickens. Eat up. Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh. It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night-night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny. Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes. It's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? A cuckoo clock? Yes, it goes cuckoo, cuckoo, but it's broken. Can you mend it, please, Grandpa Pig? Hmm. Let's take it to my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa! Now you've really broken it. Oh, I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy, Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I, I really need one. Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. 
And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is Happy Mrs. Chicken. <laughs> when you press this button, she lays an egg. <laughs> I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun! Uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye! Goodbye. Pa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh, yes, like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please! <coughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. <laughs> <laughs>